Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we need to make a gasket to go around here to fit on top of here. You might have seen in a prior video we were working on the um, dust boot for the CNC router. And so basically what's going to happen is this is going to mount on here like this. And we need to make this airtight around the seal so the vacuum pulls the stuff up through the bottom. So uh, I figured what better way than to use the laser cutter to cut a piece of gasket material for this. So let's go over to the laser cutter and take a look. So here you are. Let me adjust the camera up a little bit. So on the screen you see we have the... We've uh, taken the inner measurement, inner diameter measurement. We've taken the outer diameter measurement. Um, of the circle we need to cut and then so over here we'll basically pick you up and move you over here so you can see we have a piece of foam gasket material set in the uh, in the laser so what we need to do is basically line this up and well, first of all we have to select all the objects so what we're doing right now is lining this up in the laser for for the cut. And so So there we go, we got it lined up. And so let's go ahead and start. So I have to pass. So hopefully it won't create too much smoke. It should run pretty fast. Actually, I was wrong. It did create quite a bit of smoke and uh, it did stink, so luckily I turned it on. But um, here we go. Here is our our uh, gasket. So let's go over and take a look at it on the uh, spindle. So here we are. We have uh, the gasket placed on the spindle. Now this, this black piece turns as part of the unit, so we wanted to kind of keep that a little bit away. So I made it about a, a millimeter... Uh, <clears throat> larger than what I needed to to create that separation. So what we'll do is we'll use a little silicone sealant to uh, hold this gasket down on the surface and then what will happen is this will now press up against here. So if I line this up you can kind of get the idea here. Now the gasket forms a seal uh, in there. So anyways, uh, work out pretty good. Um, I think it's a great use of the laser cutter. Basically, this is uh, you know some foam I, I got at Hobby Lobby, some just some craft foam, so it worked pretty good. I think I can probably actually crank down the um, uh, power on it. I used it at 39, and it pretty much obliterated it. So it worked pretty good. So, anyways, uh, again, great use of the laser cutter. If you got one, it's a great addition uh, to make gaskets. It's phenomenal. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, hopefully this helped you out or at least showed you a few tips and tricks. If you did, hey, please click like below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.